early. And there's his teammate, David Starr, driving the 99 car today. That's a rough lap for that team. Mm -hmm. well, I so we'll step aside. Three laps of green flag action under caution. Loose race cars because Benny just got sideways up in the corner and then overcorrected and into the outside wall he went. It definitely has the look of loose there for sure, but it looks like he had some trouble getting in the corner. It almost, almost looks like he might have had a tire going down or, or something going wrong before we really pick it up there. Earlier, here's a look back at what happened to Hightower coming off of turn four. If you're going to get loose, Kevin, you know this. It's going to be exiting four. <laughs> that track flattens out in a hurry and around he went. I don't know if he got a little help or not, but that's certainly a certainly in a, a really tough place to drive when you're on worn out tires yeah we don't have a real good view of how it started but i it looks like he just lost it and i think if that's going to be the case it's oh we got trouble, trouble. tyler reddick in the 42 that's Spencer. ryan reed garrett smithley through the grass spencer gallagher gets a piece of it oh and they're still wrecking saw William Blake byron Blake. kevin you said it you talk about mistakes on pit road and look where that put byron yeah, you just you have to do everything you can to, to not make mm. the little mistakes to try to avoid all this. Watch the 42. Off of the bumper. Of the 24 of Scott Lagsey, it looked like. And then they just kept wrecking at him. I'm surprised they couldn't get them woed down. That happened right near the front of the field. Yeah, and I think what, what happened there is the 42 was almost going down, and it's like the, the, the car behind him, the 24, just got him off center in the bumper, and it just hooked him to the right as he was pushing him. We saw the same thing last night in the truck series on lap one, a, a bump draft gone wrong. And watch these guys just trying their best to work their way through this mess. You don't have time to think about it. You just do it. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. I guess my brain stole my hands on my feet what to do. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just happened. Uh, not much. I mean, we were just kind of back there because we pitted, and we were just uh, going to try and make our way up there maybe before the segment, and I just saw the 42 get turned, and by that time, I, I can't couldn't see anything from there and just uh, couldn't go anywhere. I think the 23 came up and just uh, just nowhere to go. You know, just nobody's nobody's fault from my from my point of view. Just couldn't couldn't avoid it so it's just it really sucks i thought we had a really good halt automation chevy i mean a yep. ford mustang that uh definitely drafted really good and i mean i think uh, we're definitely going to we're going to be strong with ford and Halls automation i think we're gonna have a good season on speed so their five minute clock is gone good oh. news for them and what a hard hit brandon jones nose first into the outside wall oh man that's a shame. Look at the cars. Brad Keselowski sneaks through again. Ryan Sieg's going to make it. But Brandon Jones, Daniel Suarez, Bubba Wallace. Look at Algar's car. I'm going to tell you what, guys. That was, a, that was a hard hit. Head on. Wicked. Couple hard hits. Darrell Wallace Jr. sitting up against the wall. Looks like a little movement there inside Allgaier's machine. Eric Jones, Daniel Hemrick. My goodness, are we going to have any cars left? Back to back big ones at Daytona. Wow. Um, Eric Kirk. Jones climbing out. Good sign there. Window net was down for the rookie Daniel Hemrick. That's positive. It's Darrell Wallace Jr. back behind him in that purple machine. You saw his window net was down. He was moving around. So good signs. Hemrick slides up the track, gets into Allgaier. Jones hit it once, rebounded, got hit again, and turned once more, exact same location, into the wall. Mike, I don't know if he got loose right there, if he was going up to get a side draft, or, or what, what really happened to the 21 right there to, and, to cause him to go up the track. And possibly could he have hit some of that speedy drive maybe, and it made him just change lanes all so slightly, but you can see he's heading in the wrong direction when they come into turn three. I've been here before, and, and, and you go in there and you feel like you can't turn the wheel. You've been into turn three a lot where you feel like you can't turn the wheel, and, and it looks like it might be a similar situation to that, but he just goes up. On board with Daniel Suarez. All right, let's deal with you. Keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. We're in it, guys. We're in it here. Got hit from behind and nosed up to the fence. 
A lot of front damage. You all right, bud? Listen to the violence of, of a super speedway crash. Front. This is Brad Keselowski. Back up high. Back up. 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 Back I mean, Brad was involved that was in that last crash, job. so he was so far behind this one. It allowed him to get slowed down, and a great job by his spotter, Joey Meyer, to walk him through it. Let's go back to real-time speed, and you will really get a feel for the violence of that hit. My. Brandon Jones, too hard. Or excuse me. Yeah, Brandon Jones, two hard hits. The guy out front, as you see with Brendan Gong here, you know, he was out, oh. out front too far. Man, that was close. Glad I changed my wording on that. Looks like just probably some damage, Kevin, from earlier uh, contact and rubbed the right front fender. And Yeah, I saw somebody smoking, and I have a feeling that, that it was probably his car and his tire hitting that fender, and that's the result of it. Benny Gordon right now shown in 27th, and, and I look like he's coming to the pits. Blowing up. Oh. Lined up logging laps. Ryan Reed said, huh, -uh, I need a playoff point. I need some, some regular season points. I'm going to the front. Oh, no. Crash. Brennan Poole. They're wrecking behind you. Do not lift yet. Do not lift. Do not lift. Okay. Back it down, brother. It'll be one to go. Brad Keselowski got into the back of Brendan Poole in, in the bump draft. And when I said green-white checkered, I was referring to that green-white checkered flag signifying the end of a stage. Here's what brought out the caution. Bam. With the experience of Brad Kozlowski, Kevin, did you see anything there that, that makes you think that that wasn't just a typical bumpers not matching up bump drafting that went wrong? Stagnant front by a half. Right lane solid. See how it was just a little bit off center. You know, with with these cars, you have to have them dead center. And it was just he was just a little bit to the right, and you had those two crowns lined up with the front and rear bumper, and it just turned him to the right. But I mean, that's how that's how hard it is to do this bump drafting. I mean, we watched Brad do it for what two or three laps earlier, and now it's now it's you know resulted in age two, Cook and Cool get together. Seventh caution of the afternoon. First here in our final stage. Up 12 as we head toward 40 laps to go. Oh, There's one breaking trouble. free. Matt Tift in the 19. He kissed it a little bit. Caution is out. Eighth one of the day. He just blew it. Nice job keeping it off the wall. Fired up and roll there if you can. Left, Left rear, rear tire. tire is down. Yeah, and I think a lot of these tire trouble, are, these, are, these are not anything to do with having something wrong with the tires. These are just from the fenders rubbing the tires and cutting them down. I believe I'm the five car. We're going to have to get to the pits. Wow, how about that? Right in his lap. Get in the pits and maybe try to put some tape on that hood. He almost had bigger problems than that, didn't he? Oh, yeah, you just see the tire blow right there. Nice evasive move by Michael Annette to get up on the round, Matt Tift. And Tift's going to slide down and just get that thing heading in the right direction, nick the wall. Oh, you can see the tire. It's already, it's a, it's a part pretty early in the corner right there. Man, those are great shots to, uh, to see the sparks and the tires and everything come apart. Did just you see that truck of Matt Crafton last night? It just looked like the movie Twister. I mean, the bad news is he's got some debris. Watch this. A small piece of trash. Probably not look. It's from Brad Keselowski's car. And you heard what he wants to do is he wants to get right on the back bumper of that 88. And as soon as he gets there, it'll almost become dead air. And oh, oh, there it is. The best car we thought all day long in a bump, tra bump drafting mistake just went into the wall. Number of big cars taken out in what is our third big crash of the afternoon. And among them, the dominator, Elliot Sadler, who had led 40 laps and swept the first two stages of this race. 
I'm telling you, Michael, I, I think what is happening here is these cars are going down the straightaway. They're high. They're higher than they used to be because they don't have all that downforce pushing on the back of the car. And they're just light in the middle of the straightaway. And that little contour in the bumpers, it, in the, just a little couple inches off one way or the other, shoots the car off. And you know, we predicted this, Kevin. We saw instability in these cars in practice yesterday. And as you ratchet it up and head toward the checker flag, it just gets worse and worse. Austin Dillon approaching the one, gives yeah, him a little same bump, thing. knocks him out of what? out of whack. Even when these cars are square, they're just so light in the back that it, everything has to be absolutely perfect or it causes another big wreck. You know who this caution is big for? William Byron, who didn't pit under that last caution, took the wave around. He was not going to be good on fuel. Now he will be, and right now he's scored in the top ten. Just that easy to take the most dominant car of the day and, and crunch it up. And look at William Byron. You talked about him. Adam, <laughs> he's off-roading through the grass. I don't think he hit anything. I don't know what his splitter, what kind of shape his splitter will be in, but uh, he narrowly avoided that wreck. So unfortunate for Elliot Sadler. You see Joey Gase, Ray Black Jr., Ryan Sieg. Ryan Reed. Just mowing the grass down that back straightaway. Here at Smithley. Wow. It happens. Just happens so fast. Very, very tough situation for Elliot Sadler, Matt. Gonna work out at the finish for him. Same for JJ Yaley, who had his five-minute clock run out, and he will go to the garage and look at Joey Gase dragging, sparking, but Making some ground, and Ray Black Jr. squeezes in a hole. And I just don't think he knew Michael Annette was on the outside. Spun around, clipped William Byron. I like the aggression, though, out of these drivers, because they know the opportunity that's in front of them. Those guys right there is where things are going to go wrong. See there? Black just tried to get over to the right. Casey Kane was there. Comes off of Kane. William Byron said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Check out Ray Black. He knows there's a racetrack over to the right somewhere. He needs to get back to it. And there was no, nowhere, no more room for Michael Annette. He was all the way against the wall. I'd say William Byron has gotten quite the education in his first career start. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Adam. He went spinning through that grass for the second time tonight. Well, Ryan Reed had this race where he wanted it. He was in control up front. Just needed to run a couple laps, but that didn't happen. And nobody's formed up on the bottom at all. Something's wrong with the three car. Ty Dillon's off the pace, and that's jumbling up that inside line. He pulled out a line. That's all. Center of racing. And now we see the 22. He's on the 88's bumper, so they should have some momentum. It's just a matter of where it times out. Reed up the track to block Kane. Crossover from the 88, but he cannot pull off the pass. Oh, what Down a, the back straightaway. What a great block by Reed. That was awesome driving there. Just barely squeezing in front of Kane. Watch Austin Dillon in that high lane. Look at the 52 of Joey Gase right in the mix, looking for his second career. Top five, the other came at Talladega. Off a of turn four, Kane looks inside. Reed protecting that double yellow line. Three wide as they come through the trioval behind him. Reed looking for the checkers. He's going to get it. Second career victory at Daytona. And they're crashing as they come across the start finish line.